I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network, and I'm here today with Yara and Vinicius. Thank Sandra. you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you, both, both of you. Thank you. So, Vinicius is busy typing something. We yeah. don't know what, but he's getting ready. Getting so, ready, yeah. So, what is this? What is, what is, what is that? Yeah, um, we are living a very special moment in the IoT space for the market. We have many companies uh, uh, launching new computers, single board computers like Raspberry Pi, UDU board, PC Duino, Intel Galileo, Intel Edison. And we look at the problem that the people buy those computers and they need to buy sensors, they need to buy relays to start playing with that computers. Mm -hmm. And buying is not the only problem. Connecting. You need to learn how to use each of them and connect them and wire them and think about uh, energy. Yep. So yeah, so we created a, a solution which is a kind of aggregator board that is not okay. competing with any other board in the market. And here we have many different types of useful sensors. Like uh, we have here the uh, uh, temperature and humidity, the blue one, uh, potentiometer, alcohol. We have relay to turn on or turn off something. We can also monitor how much energy something is consuming, like to create something with a smart energy system. You, can, you have a real-time clock where you can schedule uh, home appliance to turn on and turn off. One very simple example in Brazil that is very useful for this board is when you are sleeping in the summer and you have your fan and late in the night the temperature just fall down mm -hmm. and y you, got, got, you got flu because of that. So it can monitor the temperature and once the temperature is too low it can turn off the fan. So this kind of very simple and useful project you can do it. But you can go further, like in our case, we have a kind of uh, a Swiss knife, and behind this board, we have here the Raspberry Pi. And, and here is Java. And here is the place where we have Java. With Raspberry Pi, we can take advantage of Java SC embedded, uh, using all the powerful power from Java SC embedded, and we can make uh, internet gateways uh, with restful services for human communication applications, etc. And we also have MQTT service running here. And so you have all the sensors, plus the control of relays, LEDs, sound, and plus the Raspberry Pi and Java. With that combination, you can make uh, crazy things uh, uh, with the camera, like very advanced robots, because you have transistors to command the robot. So is a board that is very useful for home automation, for uh, robotics, uh, for field implementation, industry implementation, because you can have low energy system uh, with uh, our relay. It can schedule to turn on the Raspberry Pi whenever you want. You don't need to have the Raspberry Pi running all the time. And so if you look at some sensor, like I have the gas sensor, oh, that's danger. Let's turn on the Raspberry Pi and start sending uh, warning messages. Let's take a picture. Let's analyze the picture. Something that a microcontroller without Java could do, uh, we can do it in, in, in the Raspberry Pi. So are you, are you telling us that this is actually an entire server? I mean, I would say server side that could control everything in everything, your house? Everything, yeah. We just have this audio wire. We can take it out, so it's totally portable. So here okay. we have Java EE running in our hands and RESTful services. We have a MQTT broker here, Mosquito running here. And so it's amazing how in so you three can, or four... You can exercise all your 10 years of Java here. Yeah, and you can uh -huh. keep doing in the train because it's portable. So you don't need to plug out the wires and, and to start playing with Raspberry Pi. It's a totally portable hacking station for Raspberry Pi. It's good for the students, it's good for the startups, and you can also do real industry projects with that. And one of our main goals here, as we, we have been talking a lot about that, it's how to empower startups that want to create mm -hmm, projects. Mm -hmm. When a startup wants to create a, a product or a project, not necessarily they already know everything they want to do. 
they need to play, they need to exercise, they mm -hmm. need to use the sensors. So with this, the, one of the goals is empower the developer that is uh, with Java for decades sometimes and let them to play easily with Embedded, with Java and Raspberry Pi and also empower business. So we now we see lots of makers so solving their own problems, right? So greenhouse, home automation, uh, car system car from system. Simon Ritter. He did the car yes. Yes. car control. So we see all these makers doing their projects. The next step probably will be a group of startups, right? These people get to learn how to do the project. They are successful with their own pro product mm -hmm. as makers, and then go to startups. After we have a good number of startups, we might see a good number of industry projects. So we have been discussing this makers, startups, and then industry. And now we are in this moment for makers, and hopefully in a few time we'll be on the startups. Right, yes, yeah. Enabling Java. Absolutely, that's wonderful. Yeah, can I make a demonstration? Uh, sure. So I'm going to use my cell phone, and I'm going to uh, use the Google voice recognition, and I will say picture. And we'll, it will send a, a message to the MQTT cloud, and our Raspberry Pi with Java, we are listening to the MQTT queue, mm -hmm. and it will trigger the picture. This is a very complex way of taking a picture, but it's fun because we have a very end-to-end -end, uh, implementation with Raspberry Pi and the server and MQTT, which is a very industrial uh, protocol. And MQTT is very, looks very familiar for people that are use it to MQ servers. Yeah, the same as JMS for IoT or something. Let's try to do it alive, so... We take our selfie, right? Picture. Should we do this? Yeah. Picture. Mm, too nice. And where is the picture Picture. Here? Ah, I see. Uh, too nice here. Picture. Taken picture. Come here. Three. Here. Two. <laughs> one. Took picture. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have all the the advantage from Raspberry Pi, the camera. Twitter picture. Twitter picture. So now the Raspberry Pi is tweeting the picture. So we, in, this, in this time, we move it to the Google Cloud for voice recognition. We move to the IBM Cloud for MQTT sandbox. And now we are making a local process and send the picture to the Twitter Cloud. And so the if then that, the EFTT network mm -hmm. will uh, pick up the picture from Twitter and publish on Facebook. So Twitter we are... Twitter picture OK. Twitter picture OK. If you look at uh, my IoT gadgets, in the Twitter, you can see the, the, the real picture alive. Wonderful. So it's very end-to-end -end implementation, and it's amazing how fast we can go to different cloud systems and play integrating all those technologies, running, uh, 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 running everything on Java server, and taking advantage from the camera and from the audio system. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the people use the Raspberry Pi, but if you have a robot, the robot can talk with you. The people, uh, sometimes they don't uh, realize that they have an audio system. Mm -hmm. And so here uh, uh, I can ask for the... Different user interfaces. All right, so we are listening on voice or interacting with voice. Yeah, and gestures. gestures. And I, here uh, in my screen I can ask for, the, uh, 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 for uh, sensors and we can use uh, rest, RESTful. Uh, calls to access the sensors, which is very good when we are doing uh, like Divox for kids or Java 1 for kids. We can share the sensors mm -hmm. very easy through right. URLs. Yeah. So the kids can very fast start playing with any kind of sensor and they don't need to wire up the sensor and be aware of burning or something. So this is a, a solution that is very, very flexible in terms of 
appliance. Right, and easy to implement, to have a workshop and, yeah, and yeah. share all the components, yeah. So I recognize that little camera, which <laughs> is the little Pi camera, right? Pi camera, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. That's right. So we how, have much, how much is this, this whole, like, let's say, you know, I'm a developer, I want to know how much is it going to cost me? Like Very nice uh, question. The board itself, we are uh, releasing for less than $100, but wow. it will depend on our ramp up to produce that. But yep. the, the target price is 100 Okay. and the rest will be less than 50 bucks. So 150 bucks, you have all right. these toys to play with. Right, because the little camera is, what, 20 bucks? I mean, the yeah, Raspberry Pi is true. 35. A little yep. bit more, maybe, yeah, 35, 20 from the camera. I forgot the, the camera. And yeah. the Wi-Fi is 20, bucks, uh, 200. So yeah. And then the yeah. battery. Right. Yeah. So the really battery you get for free on a conference. Ah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's the way to go. That's great. So anything else you want to show us? I saw a little robot in your presentation. Oh, yeah. And uh, you don't have your little robot. Yeah, I have here. Can I pick up that? Uh, sure. We'll talk about something else. Yeah. So, Yara, how have you been? What have you done Hello, from... Uh oh, it's talking to it. Yes, it's talking. So we have been using, uh, doing lots of uh, for kids activities. Oh so, yeah. So uh, this uh, last uh, month we have been working a little bit more with Intel Galileo mm -hmm. and starting to work with other uh, Intel boards like uh, Intel Edison. So we just uh, ran a very interesting workshop to motivate people, motivate teenagers to go to engineering and science. Mm -hmm. So this, you know, this has been our passion for a while, to work with kids and to enable them. So we developed, uh, we created 11 robots wow. and uh, make it work together. So that's the robot you saw and the robot is here now. Okay, I hold it. So we'll see it spin or not. Yeah. So this robot is Java-based also. We are yeah. running on Intel Galileo. And uh, it is very, okay. uh, very simple to use. You can use Intel Galileo as Arduino or as a Linux system. Mm -hmm. So for the one that is starting, you can start playing as a regular Arduino. And so you progress to Linux system, install Java, and you can have more powerful process uh, running there. What we are doing here is uh, just a robot with uh, the motor control and a Bluetooth module, and that's it. And to avoid uh, buying different sensors and uh, spending money, we are showing how you can integrate with your Android phone. So I'm running in my Android phone the uh, Amarino. Amarino is a, a, a free software, open source software, that can uh, uh, read all the sensors from your cell phone and send to any board through the Bluetooth. So the best, the best way to do uh, is the, uh, the, you can use the accelerometer, the GPS, and uh, the Wi-Fi, the camera from your cell phone. For schools and like DVOX for kids is a perfect architecture because we don't need... So then you don't need them, those sensors on your board, right? That's it, oh, yeah. Nice. So now I'm going to put in the mode number two. So in the mode number two, I can command the robot using my cell phone accelerometer. So I just oh. turn on, turning off. We can, we can, oops. Yeah, it's okay. spinning. Okay, and now we can see the, the, the wheels running. And so it's very nice implementation. We did the same thing in our sailboat with the same architecture. And we can change our sailboat direction using the same technology. Uh -oh. So it, it can be used for a toy, but it can be used in a serious uh, scenarios. But it's interesting because uh, as Java developers, we are always thinking about uh, creating a software layer that, that can be reused and can help other people to go further. So in this case, a uh, regular robot, you will need to, every time you want to make it have a different behavior, you need to install the new application. So here, we wrote an underlying uh, platform to make it uh, accept several behaviors. behaviors, several programs, and then you can change 
to mode one, mode two, mode three, and you don't need to upload the new program. So, you know, we have been focusing on developing all these little pieces of software that can make developer lives harder, mm -hmm. and it's all available on GitHub. Ah, so that was my next question. Yeah. <laughs> so GitHub.com <laughs> slash vSanger. Yeah. It's the place where we are putting publishing our our code. So, and you have also the list of hardware or of everything that people need to uh, run. Uh, more or less. <laughs> no, there, there's more the, the code, but uh, we are. It's a pleasure to help people. So if anyone wants to get in touch, just reach us to Vsenger at Twitter or Yara Sanger at Twitter as well. And you did a presentation today, so I mean, people can find sure. the, yeah. that presentation. Sure. And yeah, that's true. And because the hardware, uh, we are always changing the hardware. Like uh, ah. one month ago, this <laughs> robot was an uh, Arduino <laughs> robot. And so we received the, the Galileo. And let's improve the, with Intel Galileo. And now we received the Intel Edison, and we are replacing the Galileo. So this is a project <laughs> yeah. in, in yeah. progress. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, actually, I really love to test the single board computers with robots. Like uh, when we received the first Galileo Generation 1, it was, uh, the, it was in the very early of the Intel Galileo. And once you move the motor, the board just restarts. So it was sensible to magnetic field. And so robotics is a best, the best place to make the first test and, OK, let's go further with this board. So every single board I receive in my house I put in a robot. So if anybody wants to send a board <laughs> to Vinicius, then you know he will end up having no. like the board will have wheels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Thank you so much, both Thank of you, you and Thank you. congratulations on the new babies, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. And congratulations for keeping all the night hacking. I see lots of activities, video, different people. And this is really empowering community, bringing people to a stage, encouraging people to do their things, to be proud of their projects and products. So congratulations. I hope you'll keep doing this. We will. Yeah, that so. is things that just Java do for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.